Hello students, welcome to IMS Gate Academy. Do you want to know which subjects are important in civil engineering? Or do you want to know the top priority subjects in civil engineering? In this video, I would like to cover which subjects are very much important. In addition to this, I would like to tell you why those subjects are important based on the weightage of the marks and based on the easiness of the subject, I, I have decided the priority of the subjects in civil engineering. My dear students, we are almost six months away from the gate exam. So a proper planning will definitely help you to understand the gate exam and to get better results in gate exam. Now, let me tell you my dear students, when I talk about the gate exam, you are the best person to analyze yourself. You know your capabilities and how the weakness can be converted into strength in these six months. So are you aiming for 45 marks or are you aiming for 55 marks or are you aiming for 65 marks? So you should have a clarity on the marks which you want to obtain. Similarly or otherwise, I should get a rank below 500 so that I will be eligible for PSU or IIT Madras or I top IITs. Similarly, I can get a rank of 1000 where I can get into the sum of the PSUs or some of the IITs. So in this way, if you are accountable and if you are honest towards your hard work, this video will understand you on which subjects are the top most priority subjects for civil engineering. Now let me start with the group one, my dear students. When I talk about civil engineering here students, we have three subjects which are very, very important. Geotechnical, it varies from 10 to 12 marks. Transportation, 10 marks. And environmental, 10 marks. I am keeping the average as 30 marks for these three subjects. Now, how to prepare geotechnical? If I name the subject properties of soil, this recording will be there in the YouTube channel also, my dear students. Most of the predictions might be true. So after the gate exam also, you can check the video also. In geotechnical, properties of soil is a very important topic. Earth pressure is a very important topic. Consolidation is a very important topic. Shallow and deep foundations are another important topic. Stability of slope and shear strength are the important topics in geotechnical. Now let me tell you, when do you say that a subject is finished? My dear students, if you have a formula sheet, in addition to this, you should have a complete revision of gate question booklet at least twice with the key pointers and also you should have a short notes. Similarly, in transportation engineering, 100% we can expect a question from traffic engineering, whether it can be optimum cycle length or it can be green shield model or it can be spot speeds or you can say about 98th percentile speed and similarly in geometric design, super elevation, OSD, SSD, transition curves, vertical curves and similarly corrections in airport engineering and in railway engineering especially related to the CANT, CANT deficiency problems. Similarly, if you talk about environmental engineering with simple revision on solid waste, definitely you will get two marks. In addition to this, water quality parameters, if you talk about water quality parameters, mostly you have to forecast the things. In addition to this, digestion tank, sedimentation tank, oxidation pond, all these also plays a very vital role in environmental. So my dear students, if you are aiming for just 45 to 50 marks, these three subjects will play a very crucial role in qualifying the gate exam. And 100%, if you follow these three subjects, definitely you will have high chances of qualifying the gate exam. In addition to this, in gate 24, we have questions in geomatics of almost 5 marks. It is a big surprise, but still we have to believe. Now, my dear students, in geomatics, when I talk about photogrammetry, compass surveying, traversing, or if you talk about the corrections for chain and tape, these are the important topics. Now, engineering mathematics, you have 10 marks and aptitude, you have 15 marks. So here, there is 30 marks from this group 2 set. So let me tell you, my dear students, if you prepare group 1 and group 2 subjects in this way, prioritizing, definitely you will have high chances to get at least 50 marks. So the order I would say geotechnical, transportation 
and environmental. And let me tell you, geotech, transportation and environmental are independent subjects. Here, similarly, engineering, mathematics and aptitude and geomatics, if you plan, suppose if you are planning 8 hours in a day, at least accumulate 2 hours for first group and 2 hours for the group 2 and 2 hours for GQB for group 1 and 2 hours for GQB means gate quotient booklet revision for group 2. So, in this way, if you prepare 8 hours a day, within 90 days, you can complete these 6 subjects and you will ensure 100 percent 50 marks of your gate exam score. So, this group 1, group 2 will play a very important role. Again, I am telling you geotechnical, transportation, environmental, geomatics, engineering, mathematics and aptitude. And how you will be done with the subject? If you have done the short notes, if you are done with the formula sheet and if you are done at least twice with the gate question booklet with the key pointers inserted in it. Now, my dear students, if I talk about group 3, see, even when I am studying for preparing for gate exam, fluid mechanics is one of the toughest subject. So, you should assess whether I am aiming for below 100 rank. So, in that way, you have to decide. In fluid mechanics, we have dynamics, kinematics, but you can easily score with open channel flow, very easily you can score 4 marks. It can be alternate depths, most economical channel, critical depth for a rectangular channel or if there are conjugate depths, how to find out the energy loss, specific energy, critical depths, these are very important in open channel. So, in fluid mechanics and open channel, you are almost getting 10 marks and coming to strength of materials, it will be 6 marks. In strength of materials, mostly it will be from deflections or from bending movement or principal stresses and strains. These are the major important things. And let me tell you, my dear students, there is no important topics like that in gate exam. You have to do extra focus on the topics which I mentioned. You need to revise twice or thrice so that in these topics, whatever the questions coming, you will be 100% sure. So, if you prepare more on or concentrate more on these topics, definitely you will have high chances to get into the gate exam. Now, similarly in hydrology and irrigation, if I talk about unit hydrograph or if I talk about the infiltration problem or water crop period, these are the major topics where you can get very good marks. So, in hydrology and irrigation, almost 6 marks you will can expect, my dear student. So, from group 3, it is 22. Remember, group 1 and group 2 are 30, 30 marks. Group 3 is 22 marks. Now, see students, suppose I will tell you honestly, if you prepare for steel structures, you might require 80 to 90 hours of your preparation, but there will be hardly 3 marks. So, in this case, in steel structures, concentrate on the plastic analysis, concentrate on the eccentric corrections. That way, you can score more marks. And steel RCC CMM, CMM is the one of the easiest subject and you can definitely get good marks. You name CPM part, definitely we can expect a question. Float, slack and all, there are high chances of getting the question. Engineering mechanics, definitely if you want to prepare structures, this is a very important subject even though the weightage is 3 marks, but it is the basic subject for the entire structures. If you study well engineering mechanics, it opens the road for the structural subjects. And remember, if you want to be good in fluid, sorry, geotechnical or water resources, some of the fluid concepts are also very important. Similarly, in structure analysis, static indeterminacy, kinematic indeterminacy also plays a very important role. Either learn analysis of any indeterminate structure. In strength of materials, you will talk about more about determinate structures. In structure analysis, you talk about the analysis of indeterminate structures. Either it can be moment distribution method or slope deflection method and have some idea on the strain energy. So, in this way, my dear students, if you can remember the weightage. So, if you are a student who is targeting 80 marks, so they have to follow group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. If a student is following 60 marks, group 1 and group 2 will definitely help. If a student want to qualify just, then oddly 5 subjects. Geotech, Transportation, Environmental and Engineering, Maths and Aptitude. With these 5 subjects, you will definitely qualify. So, in this video, I have emphasized on what are the important topics of civil engineering, on which subjects you have to prepare, 
prepare and what is the order also some of the students might think i would start with engineering mechanics or strength of materials so let me tell you my dear students if you are very good in structures or calculation part in, in analysis of indeterminate and determinate then give priority to structures if not the order is geotech transportation environmental mass aptitude and then geomatics then you can go with the strength of materials engineering mechanics cmm in this way you follow please students so i hope this video will help you now my dear students what we do at ims gate academy we at ims gate academy offers 800 plus hours of gate coaching it can be online it can be offline also we have centers at vijayawada and also at bangalore in maleshwaram and also at jainagar and remember my dear students we are giving excellent futures of one to one mentorship in addition to this we are also providing the exercise books chapter wise sets subject wise tests we are providing the most important thing all in the mock test series which covers 12 test series as if in a gate environment now if you want any queries related to the uh, gate exam or do you are you looking for any notifications are you interested to learn some concepts in civil engineering or some concepts related to any other branch in gate then definitely join this link all the links all the like uh, everyday quizzes all the updates in the psus or any job notifications you will be get notified i hope this video will help you thank you